Hello everyone. As you may have seen in the previous video, we took my son down to start college at UCLA in Los Angeles. Got him all squared away and he's very he's very excited to start his studies there. I think it's going to be a good fit because in addition to um, the engineering studies and computer science that he wants to do, um, UCLA has some good uh, jazz bands and he's going to see if he can be a part of those because um, jazz and music have become a big part of his life over the uh, what, last six or seven years, I guess. So it's an exciting time. It's also bittersweet for me. Um, I didn't because it'll be He is um, an incredible, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> He's an incredible individual. Uh, both of my kids are. Um, he is um, really special. And uh, his birthday is a day before mine. <laughs> and he was, uh, he was always a very loving child, um, very quick to put his arms around you and say, I love you. And of course, he became a teenager, so that was a little bit less so, but he was always very interested. He was always very communicative. Well, he didn't express a lot of negative emotions, and he sometimes had to pull the stuff out of him that he was worried about or that sort of thing. But anyway, so he's down there, and um, it's going to be different not having him here and not having all his friends here because we were sort of the um, the gathering place uh, since the high school's only a couple blocks away. And uh, I just did my Trader Joe's shopping this morning and realized I've got to buy less food <laughs> than I used to, not just because of him, but because his friends probably ate more than he did. Um, but it's a good thing. So it was kind of a marathon weekend, getting him down there, uh, got him settled into his room, but then he ended up staying with us at the hotel where we stayed out by the beach because um, his roommate wasn't going to be there yet. Classes actually don't start until Thursday. Um, so, uh, and then came back and then I had to take my mom to the doctor this morning for a scheduled appointment that I didn't realize and laundry and grocery shopping and all that and I really haven't had a time to really kind of sit and regroup yet so um, the rest of this week I've got to kind of get myself settled into um, a new mindset um, which is a good thing but it's just different um, and get going back on the artwork. Uh, I also um, I ordered a little pendant. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the uh, uh, Baba Yaga, who is uh, an Eastern European um, goddess, if you will. Uh, she was kind of maligned in certain stories, but really she is a wise woman who is uh, bes bestows many gifts on um, on those who are earnest and uh, who are really trying to learn and uh, is not so nice to those who <laughs> are not so earnest and noble. But anyway, uh, I found a, a pendant. I, I sort of relate to her because of my Eastern European background. Um, just like my, my cloth here is a Russian scarf I got. Uh, my grandmother, who is not Russian, she was Polish, but she was from a part of Poland, which is now the Ukraine, since those borders always changed. So I, I relate to the whole kind of Slavic, Eastern European uh, um, group as a whole. Um, so anyway, so I, I'm trying to kind of tune into that aspect of myself, 
kind of ancestrally and uh, also because of my age, because Baba Yaga is a crone and uh, she's a wise woman. And that's kind of the stage that I'm entering now. So a lot of my meditations now have to do with trying to tune in to my grandmothers and the fortitude that they had coming from uh, a completely different country to the United States at the turn of the previous century and making their way and succeeding. Um, and I know that their hardships were far more intense than any that I'm going through. Uh, so I, I try to, you know, tune in with that. I think, I think a lot of us in this day and age have a tendency to take many things for granted and um, have an attitude of um, entitlement. And we forget how hard, you know, the people before us are, are ancestors, our parents, and their parents, and their parents before them had to work to just survive. Um, and uh, so I want to keep that attitude of gratitude and also tune in to the wisdom of my um, foremothers. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what's going on. Hopefully the artwork will be reinvigorated uh, later on this week. And of course the equinox is just a couple days away. Trader Joe's had some pumpkins. I got a few pumpkins today, so I'm happy. <laughs> Finally have my pumpkins in the house. Um, and that's about it. Um, hope you're all doing well and having a, a good start to the week. I look forward to all your videos, just as I have enjoyed catching up on them from uh, being gone and had a little internet fast over the weekend, which was a good thing. Um, it's easy to get caught up in the virtual world and the real world actually is a better place for me because I'm always in my head anyway and the virtual world is kind of sometimes an extension of my head. So anyway, that's about it. Um, as I say, I hope you're all doing well and I wish you a good week ahead. Okay, bye.